Hello dear viewers, welcome to my channel Science Technology. In today's show, Camera Tuesday, we're going to talk about Kfinity Mavo Edge 8K. So let's dive right into it. Well, first you have to understand what exactly we are talking about. We are talking about a Kfinity's new full frame camera lineup basically. And Kfinity as a camera company, they are slowly growing. Basically, they went from no name to people know about them to everybody Tom Dick and Harry wants to buy them. Basically, uh, they are slowly working and they are not a company that most likely they're gonna stick around so fundamentally there's a lot of interest in this camera now this mavo edge is 8k 60 frame per second at 12 bit that's more than enough for almost everything in this planet at this point in time simply because 12 bit is more than enough for HDR mastering so it's a uh, bit depth is more than good enough 8k good luck finding any way of practically usually utilizing 8k and at 60 frame per second so it's not like you know uh, limited to 30 frame per second so that's also a good thing so it's really good system however you can find something similar in other camera system but the critical aspect is it's a full frame camera so if you directly compare this puppy to let's say black magic 12k option fundamentally this will win out for many people who wants uh, what we call depth of field of a full frame system because you have to understand the movie industry is slowly moving away from smaller sensors they went from uh, basically super 16 to super 35 which is a APS-C size and now they are going to full frame and those who can afford it like big movie makers they go even all out for example uh, Avengers Endgame and Infinity War Joker all these were shot at uh, 65 millimeter so you get the point like uh, people are moving to larger and larger sensor size so full frame is really awesome simply because it has the largest lens selection fundamentally so lot of interest like just for that is like many people is like dude what the hell i'm gonna do 12k so if you have to choose between 8k full frame versus 12k APS-C, people are like yeah i'm gonna go with 8k so that is the core reason why this is such a unique proposition now it also on top of that it has inbuilt nd filter now that on itself is not that amazing given the fact that it is electronic nd filter which mind you at this point in time only few companies can do sony being the king of that so that's amazing thing that means video world requires nd filters like uh, there is no tomorrow like they need to have it it's not an optional thing so generally they have to put it on top of lens which uh, while uh, suitable and functional it's expensive AF so fundamentally having a cheaper option on a cheaper camera super awesome so Kfinity, because it's a camera uh, body manufacturer, they do not have lens option. So they created a master mount. Uh, so this basically K mount, quote unquote. You mount another mount uh, adapter on top of it. Now here's the interesting part. This allows you to have almost every lens known to man. Basically, you can have Nikon system, you can have Canon system, you can have Sony system. Uh, all you have to do is just change adapter. So it does not matter what system you have, this puppy can accept it. So that's the amazing aspect of it. There is a critical reason why people are so excited about this puppy now what is so exciting about this is basically inbuilt ProRes RAW now you have to understand this in video world we, especially people who are doing it for a living and doing it high quality now basically not uh, like i am doing a video for a living but i'm not doing like you know 4k high bit ripped color correction accuracy you know, like, like my pipeline is very short it's like you know tick tock done now but people who do this for a living like uh, video editing or uh, commercial uh, manufacturers uh, you know interview people like they have a lot of pipeline now that pipeline is a choke point you do not want to have a long pipeline you want to be as short as possible so basically taking the footage from the camera to final product should be as seamless as possible now biggest hurdle at this point in time is format so basically camera recording format is more closer to delivery format than to actual uh, editing format Fun problem with that many times you will see people utilizing external recorders just for one reason so they can have pro res raw or sometimes a dng or something like that so the reality is you don't want to record in the same format that you want to uh, basically transmit transmission requires compression so you want a very compressed video format for transmitting basically you want to transmit over youtube you want to transmit over twitch you need different kind of things for that however but for video editing you want something exactly opposite of that you want something that is uncompressed that has all frames that is uh, basically super easy to decompress super easy to edit cut clip and all that jazz so how the heck you achieve that you do ProRes video. Now ProRes is awesome. ProRes RAW is super awesome. So fundamentally, this is amazing. Many people will simply say, shut up and take my money just for that. Now, Blackmagic is also trying to do this simply because, uh, well, they have a video editing software, which is a very high grade industry rated equipment, Blackmagic, uh, basically DaVinci Resolve. So they can afford to have a unique codex. Now, other times, uh, for example, Red and Canon, both of them have their own codex. But because Red is such a big name, every company works their ass off to make sure that Red is supported in their video editing software but for canon it's not so smooth because while they are big name they're not really quote-unquote big name so that simply means 
it would be really difficult for you to actually take a 8k footage from canon camera which is raw and edit it without uh, slowing down your computer because the pipeline is not smooth so that is why because kfinity does not have the resources to have like okay i'm gonna make my own codex and then i'm gonna make everybody figure out like how to deal with this they're like let's use industry standard prores raw awesome super awesome for that so no more transcoding no more taking one format converting into another and then utilizing it that alone people will like just shut up and take my money another aspect is media these file formats are huge huge humongous basically gigabytes are a joke to them like you have to start with like you know three to five hundred gigabytes like for a few minute system so then you have to understand media becomes a, another expensive uh, choke point for you it's like how much can you actually afford this for example in sony systems they are going utilizing c fast express cards now those cards are awesome they are supposed to be the next big thing but as of now they are not and per gigabyte price is super expensive and then same happens with if you buy c fast cards so how the heck you bypass this issue you utilize something normal like a setup part which its older version used but older version was limited to uh, not going to 8k so that was not good enough SATA three which is the current standard that is limited to 600 mbps not good enough for something pro res raw at 8k that's not good enough so the way to bypass that is go on a next step that is nvme nvme m.2 ssd now these puppies they are fast they can go upwards of right now you can buy in market 3.5 gigabyte per second that's so fast that this puppy cannot saturate this so basically this camera is like i can't fill up that pipe so pipe is that fine now is there a benefit of that like actual practical benefit yes these are mass produced equipment aka they are made for your laptops they are made for your desktop they are made for servers so they are made in millions and millions and millions of unit what does that mean for you that simply means per gigabyte this puppy is free comparatively speaking like compare this price to sd cards which are mass produced they are still cheaper compare this to anything that has this equivalent of speed good luck with that so that's amazing that simply means you will not go bankrupt trying to buy uh you know cart media cards so that's awesome and because this is so fast you can dump the media that's also a time that's like you have to spend time okay i did multiple takes now i'm gonna take the card out put it in a computer and dump the file that dumping of the file will be directly dependent on how fat this puppy is this puppy is 3.5 gbps more than good enough basically you need a raid array of ssds on your computer end to actually receive the data so that's awesome all these things simply make you buy this camera and this camera is not gonna fight you it's like dude record in a format that does not require you to do extra hua use a media that does not require extra hua and uh, on top of that it has dual native iso so it also has the luxury of utilizing a highlight system specific system 800 iso and for low light performance 3200 iso so amazing exciting features like these two alone like the fact that it can do prores raw and the fact it does not require extra hoo-ha like you can utilize normal nvme people like just shut up and take my money so what are the features on this now this camera company while they are slowly gaining market share they are not anywhere near to black magic anywhere near to red anywhere near to canon sony nikon things of that nature so they are giving you unique features basically you can only do that things on this company for example uh, let's say you have mounted this puppy on a gimbal or not a gimbal would be correct word uh, let's say on a tripod and you are doing a long form shooting for some reason let's say you want to cover a concert now battery runs out this camera uh, so energy intense they will not last for multiple hours now it has a v mount on back pre-done that's the interesting part that you do not need to buy extra back plates or just plonk done awesome now you want to change the battery but you do not want your shoot to go down this puppy has a ups option basically uh, another camera cage that you can put on top of it and that camera cage has batteries now you might be like okay that's a proprietary battery no normal sony battery you can buy off the shelf plug it there and this will allow you enough time to while you're recording while you're going full out your camera is going full out you can swap v-mount battery without any issue awesome so that's the whole point these sort of subtle touches now again it may not be needed for 99 percent of people but for people who need this this is the only camera company that can do that and it's from day one is designed in such a way that it can do a lot of high quality live streaming options like for example you can have live streaming from sdi output or for uh, another more uh, absolute option you may want to use ethernet option because again you want to connect it to via something simple this puppy has that option it also has USB C. it has a uh, basic lot of things it has more than enough things where you can utilize it on a basically big television television shit where you have a lot of uh, sdi a lot of time codes and all that just this puppy will work with that or something low budget where you're like okay i spent so much money on a camera i don't have too much extra equipment uh, you know basically normal ethernet equipment 
that's your bag so that's the awesome part of it this is designed as a proper system and uh, you may be like okay this has a small tiny screen how the heck i'm gonna like you know preview my shot and things of that nature you can utilize iphone the reason why i'm saying iphone is they are trying to develop an app for android so far uh, it has not happened but uh, they are working on it now if you're buying something that is twelve thousand dollars buying a cheap iphone is not that expensive. like buy the cheapest iphone it will still work with this you can just have that iphone as a permanent uh, viewfinder for this it has wi-fi so that you can do remote uh, wireless system it has bluetooth and ethernet and at this point in time they are actually working uh, right now on the behind the scene it has a hot basically extension port and they are working on a 5g modem for it so basically they can plug this puppy onto this and they will have 5g wireless live streaming from a 12k camera so you get the point there is a lot of options like this camera is not going to hold you back this is not going to be like okay i don't have xlr input i don't have time code input no no this is like buy it and forget like the camera won't be your limiting factor at this point in time so what we can expect in the future now this is the reality of it market competition is heating up because if you went few years ago let's say uh, basically 2015 and you would have told anyone anyone working with camera industry any uh, basically large retailer or something like that like we're gonna have a 8k camera it, or like scratch that just a cinema camera that a professional cinema camera like around 10 bit or 12 bit for such a low price that we have right now they would have simply laughed you out of the room but right now pro level video cameras are available for really really low prices now is all of them are as good as uh, red as good as alexa not likely but they're close enough what does that mean that simply means if you have the skill set the camera won't be your limiting factor it's like camera will be like i got you back so at this point in time we are looking to a very uh, prosperous future simply because ease of use is one thing for some reason most cam big camera ma manufacturers like yeah we're not gonna work on our menu system you have to learn like you have to do a phd to understand our equipment while these new upcoming companies they're like dude what is your feedback okay we should make our uh, icons larger so they are easy to click okay boom done feedback done taken care of like literally these camera companies they have a facebook page they have twitter uh, accounts they have uh, basically a community where they are literally listening in is like okay what do you exactly want okay do you want this thing uh we i think we can do that okay next uh you know firmware patch takes care of that that's amazing like it took years almost a decade for everybody to like beg sony to, like dude give us full hdmi they're like okay 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 finally we're gonna this com copy is like done take it and go so that's the whole point these sort of new upcoming companies they have a lot more uh, basically feedback loop and because they are providing such a high value on such a low price people are willing to take the risk it's like dude there is a very good chance uh, one of the camera people will be like okay these are cheap and if i'll buy two of them the likelihood of both of them breaking at the same time that's very low but you get the point that will uh, allow them to have let's say for thirty thousand dollars they could have equipment that's almost same comparable as 8k camera from uh, let's say red that will cost sixty thousand minimum so reality is pipeline efficiency it's awesome uh, ease of use so many things that makes it super easy to use all of those things are making life of upcoming indie filmmakers much more easier and new and exciting features that are being uh, basically quote unquote tested on these things once they become important enough once they become like you know everybody wants that sooner or later again uh, big manufacturers like sony canon and red and re they have to give it so really really interesting future uh, we have to look forward to so at this point in time, uh, this was my presentation on basically 8K camera. I hope you liked it, learned from it. In that case, please click the like button, share it amongst your friends. That will help me a lot. If you didn't like it, didn't enjoy it, I urge you to press just like, press it twice to show me extra disappointment. Please leave a comment because I try to reply to all of them. Subscribe, press the bell icon if you're free. And as always, thanks for watching.